positive reward training, we use food often to reward the dog. This can cause some issues. It's difficult to actually get the timing exact, exactly right. So we use a marker of some sort. We can use a clicker, which essentially just makes a sound. This is an eye clicker. This is a teardrop clicker. They both make a sound, and that sound is used to mark a particular behavior, which is then rewarded with food. We can also use a whistle for making a sound, and that can be a marker as well. The advantage of a whistle, it can be adjusted to suit the particular dog's response. The pitch can be adjusted. In this case, it's very, very high pitch, or can be adjusted to a lower pitch, something that humans can hear. The choice of what you use to mark a particular behavior is up to you. The whistle, the eye clicker, or the teardrop clicker, each make a sound, but the sound is slightly different. So some will suit one dog, some will suit another. Sometimes the shape of the clicker will suit one person's hand. The eye clicker has a big button on the top, so people who have any dexterity issues, that's easy to work. The teardrop clicker has a louder sound, which will work for some dogs, but the button doesn't stand up as much. The whistle gives you a lot more flexibility in what you can do, but it's much more expensive. You can use the whistle just as a marker so that, yes, you've done the right thing. Or you can use the whistle as a training tool to actually send commands. So you could train the dog that meant sit or meant drop. With the clickers, they make a sound, so it is just marking the actual behavior, marking a promise of food coming. We also supply target sticks. A target stick essentially is yellow ball. You would train the dog to, for example, put its nose onto the ball and reward that. You then nose onto the ball, reward that, nose onto the ball, reward that. And so then you have a rod that you can get the dog to put its nose and hold its nose on this and you can raise it up to raise the dog's head or put the dog's head down or if you were training dogs who were going to be for assistance work or something you might train the dog to put its paw onto this and then its paw onto a handle on a door so that you can get the dog to push the door handle down to open the door or a light switch and then you can move further away so that the dog doesn't get the idea that it is to do with your proximity. It's actually the action that it's doing that's getting rewarded for. We make a range of markers or target sticks for training or the whistle for commands or for marking behavior. <laughs>